Okay, this is our fungus lab part one. We have our materials here. We have four bottles, same size. We have a marker, permanent marker. We have a homemade funnel. We have measuring spoons and a ruler. We have ribbon to measure with. We have yeast. We have balloons. And we have some sugar. Okay, first thing we want to make sure that we do following the directions is to fill up our water bottles. You can have soda bottles. It's best if they're the same size. We have one filled with water. This is our control number one. It's just plain water. We have number two, which is filled with coke, and it is flat. There's no carbonation left. You might need to leave that open overnight. We have the third one filled with apple juice, and we have a fourth one filled with water. There's nothing else in it right now, but we're going to change that in a minute. Okay, so first thing on our list is to fill up our bottles, which we just did, and now we're going to put a teaspoon of sugar into bottle number four. So we're going to do that right now. Go ahead. My handy assistant used the funnel. Sugar goes in. Great. Okay, now that we have sugar in bottle number four, we're going to take the yeast now and put a teaspoon of sugar into each of the bottles. Sugar. Yeast. yeast. It's already open a little bit. So. Teaspoon? Mm -hmm. Teaspoon again. I want to wipe that sugar off of there because you yeah. don't want any sugar getting into the control. The control, remember, is just plain water, so we don't want anything in there except water and, of course, now yeast. A little bit more, make sure it's a full teaspoon. It's just an index card. Okay, another teaspoon of yeast. And you want to make sure that you're not using the rapid rise yeast, just the plain yeast. I can put this in here for you. And there goes teaspoon number two. We're going to have to open another package. Okay, over there. Okay. Teaspoon of yeast in the juice. And then a teaspoon into the sugar water. Okay. Now, after this, we're going to seal the bottles tightly and we're going to shake them. So let's just do one. Yeah. We're going to shake one at a time and then put the balloon on right after that because we don't want any carbon dioxide being released at all. So tight and good shape. Okay. Okay, slowly, very slowly. Now that wasn't a big deal to go fast on that one. But the others, you might want to be careful about. 
Okay, nice and tight on the balloon. Make sure nothing's coming out. You might want to lift that up to make sure that. Okay, it's centered. That's okay. Okay, good. And Two. shake, shake, shake. Very slowly. Take that off. Okay. Nice flat coke. You know that's important. Just try and stretch the mouth of it a little bit. There you go. Be careful not to rip the balloon though. Just want to make sure, again, that nothing... on top. You want to make sure that you try and center it so that <laughs> whoops. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> so that looks good. And last assistance getting crazy. <laughs> We're going to put one last balloon on. Okay, now it's time to make a hypothesis. Make sure that you go back to the background information and the lesson and um, read that carefully so that you can make a reasonable guess. Okay, now that you've made your hypothesis, it's time to make your first set of observations. So we've got some ribbon, you can see here, and go ahead and measure that bottle. We're going to measure the circumference of the bottle. and it's best to do that the same place on every bottle. So once you have that measurement, make a mark on your ribbon or your string and then go ahead and lay it down. Remember you're measuring in centimeters. So this first measurement is what, Hayden? This would be 21 centimeters. Okay, 21 centimeters. So make sure that you write that down. Okay, that was bottle number four. Make sure you put 21 centimeters. Bottle number three is exactly the same. Yep. So put down 21 centimeters for bottle number three. Bottle number two, Hayden's checking right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly the same, 21 centimeters. And bottle number one, the circumference 21 is 21 centimeters. Okay, it also says to measure the balloons. Now, that's kind of hard to do because the balloons are not inflated. So at this point, I would just say that they are uninflated. And put that down as your measurement. 